what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be another surgery related video um today's video is going to be all about why i changed surgeons who i changed to how i got a quote and what i was actually quoted um and what i'm having done so for those of you who have been following along my journey you guys know that i lost 90 pounds um also excuse my voice it is a little bit raspy i like lost my voice over my birthday weekend so that's why i sound like this um but yes for those of you who have followed me you guys know um i recently lost 90 pounds um i had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy um it's a weight loss surgery um you could look more into that i posted more videos about that on my page also but pretty much i had that procedure done and lost 90 pounds and now i do have a lot of loose skin in my stomach that i'm just really self-conscious about um so i decided that i wanted to get a tummy tuck um and a bbl um in dominican republic the reason why i chose dominican republic is because my hubby his family is from there a bunch of them already went out there and got their surgeries done and they all look so amazing so for me i personally feel like their results are way more superior compared to the united states um and that's just my opinion but yes i've been doing research for probably three years from before i got my weight loss surgery um and that's how I got here. So I was juggling between a couple different doctors. Um, if you watch my first, first video when I told you guys about the first surgeon that I picked, Dr. John Paul Guticelli, um, I had explained in that video, I had previous surgeons that I had in mind before I even found him. So um, <clears throat> recently, like on Instagram, I post a lot on Instagram also about my journey on one of the first pictures um, I had posted and tagged Dr. Duran and Dr. Guticelli. And I never actually even tried to get a, quote, get a quote with Dr. Duran because I already knew how hard it was to get in contact with her. So at that point, I was just like, you know, and there's so many stories that people say she doesn't work on plus size girls. She doesn't work on tall girls. She really has like, like a lot of the girls that she works on are thinner and smaller. And like, I know it, like it's not true because I've been following her Instagram and she actually has been working on a lot of weight loss patients and bigger girls and everyone's kind of like shocked. So pretty much how it all went down. I had a date with Dr. John Paul Guticelli for April 18th of this year. Um, my deposit was paid, everything is paid, um, and everything was going fine. Um, I'm in his Facebook groups. There's, I think, like three of them that I'm in, and I could leave them linked down below for you guys so you guys could join and check them out too. Um, but over the past couple of weeks of me being in the group, I continuously kept seeing dog ears so what that is is when you get a tummy tuck on either end of your tummy tuck if they don't take off enough skin where like it meets it kind of like folds over and it creates like these handles and people call them dog ears in the surgery community and it just really really kept bothering me to the point like I came home one day and I was like crying to my hubby like what am I gonna do like my surgery is two months away like I don't feel super confident with my surgeon like even though I've seen tons and tons of amazing results I was also seeing tons and tons of not great results and when you have not great results like that you don't want to talk about it in the Facebook group. So obviously you're going to see a, a lot more better reviews than you do the bad reviews. And some girl had made a post in the group um, talking about, you know, if you didn't have surgery yet, you cannot bash someone for how they feel 
saying, you know, talk because they would talk bad about him then saying, you know, they weren't happy with the results. And then other girls who haven't even had surgery yet would like attack them and pretty much blame them for their bad results, you know, like telling them they're not compressing enough and stuff like that, which is crazy. But that's what was happening. And so many girls had commented on that post, like a lot, a lot of girls commented on that post saying that they were not happy with their results. Um, and it really scared me. So that day I was like, you know what, I'm going to try and reach out to Dr. Duran and just see what happens. You know, I was like, if it's meant to be, I'll get a response back. But at that point I was like, she's probably not going to answer me, whatever, but let me try. Right. So that day I came home. Um, you know, when you get your quote, you need to take four nude photos of your front, back and either side. Um, and those of you who know about Dr. Duran, it is so hard to get in contact with her, like literally so hard. A lot of people wind up hiring a coordinator to get in contact with her. Um, I wasn't trying to do that. Um, I literally just went to her Instagram, took the email that was in her description of her bio and I emailed it and I prayed. I literally prayed that night. I was like, you know, if it's meant to be, she will answer. Um, and literally in my header guys that I wrote to her, I don't know if this is what made her answer to me, but I wrote in Spanish, like, please help me with like exclamation points. And I woke up the next morning with a quote from her. So I truly feel like it was meant to be. Um, and I just went with it and I switched doctors. The fact that she even answered me back, I was like freaking out that morning. I jumped out of bed. I was like, jumping and dancing everywhere i was so happy that she answered me guys so yeah i did not hire a coordinator to get in contact with her i just got really lucky she answered me back and that's why i switched doctors you know i did really want her to begin with i just never thought she would answer me and i'm just so happy and the other reason why i know it's meant to be is because i already had my recovery house picked out which i told you guys is healing and beauty my recovery house is still healing and beauty i've been wanting to stay there regardless of what doctor i went to i would be staying there um and then i was like great now i'm gonna have to switch my date to super later i'm gonna lose my plane ticket like i was freaking out um and so i messaged duran back and i said do you have anything for april mind you my official date with Dr. John Paul Guticelli was the 18th. She told me she had a date for the 21st and the 27th of April. And I was like, that's it. Like, this is perfect. I got to use my same plane ticket. I got to stay in the same recovery house. Like, it was really meant to be. So I took that date and now I'm going to go ahead and read you guys my quote. Um, so she did tax me a little bit. I feel like she did definitely tax me. I know a lot of girls who have gone to her, you know, paid around 5,000, maybe 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. She quoted me $7,800. So if you're planning to get surgery, I would say try to stay away from tax season, which is around these months. Um, March, April, and May are like the highest like they charge the most because they know girls just got their tax money didn't work like that for me i already have had this money but i didn't even like think about that when i was booking with dr g either you know like this is kind of like the worst time to go because like a lot of girls wind up going it's a lot more busier but i'm just gonna pray for the best and i am still gonna pay the money because i really really want to go to her so seven thousand eight. um minus um the deposit which was 250 dollars and so that brings it down to 7550 um and everything all of this would be sent in your email all of this was sent in the email um so then it's 450 dollars for labs 225 dollars for mandatory insurance um a hundred dollars for a pulmonologist um $150 for your second garment and then $35 for the compression socks. And I kind of like starred those. I don't think I added that in the total because that's like optional if you want to get those. Um, $100 for a COVID test. $130 for a TAC. I'm actually not too sure what that is yet. $100 for the echocardiogram. And then um, $300 for blood transfusion. So... 
that says it's mandatory and not refundable which i don't think is really fair but whatever it is what it is i'm still gonna pay it you know a lot of other surgeons they give you the you know you have to come with the 300 dollars for the blood transfusion and if you don't use it they give it back to you Hers is just mandatory and non-refundable. I'm like, damn, okay. So that's for if you're getting surgery and your hemo levels drop really low, they will need to give you a blood transfusion. Transfusion. I'm hoping I don't need to do that. Um, but yeah. Um, and then there, it's $300 for your post-op medicine. Um, and I added all of that up and it came out to nine thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars um plus the 250 fifty dollar deposit but that would be subtracted from this but all that total would have been nine thousand five hundred and five so and then included in that is all this right here so your cardiologic evaluation your photographs the operating room anesthesia the post-surgical garment so your stage one um as soon as you come out of surgery you will wake up i think in that garment um and then you have the option to buy the stage two from her but i'm gonna be i already have my stage two fajas and i'll probably get one more out there somewhere else because i know a lot of girls say they don't like duran's faja um disposable supplies supplies and disposable materials and medicines um and your consults and post-op check-ins so that's all that's like included in the price um and then also in the email that she sent to me is that she would like your hemo to be of a 13 i know a lot of other surgeons it's a 12 for her she wants your hemo to be at a 13 um the money I was able to send on Zelle directly from my Wells Fargo account directly to her and I had no issues. Um, if you don't have a bank account, I know you can transfer the money with like a wire transfer. Um, the deposit is not refundable. So make sure before you are going to leave a deposit, you check with your doctors before you even want to plan surgery. Make sure you're a good candidate for surgery um, before you just start sending out deposits because you can't get that money back. Um, I've already had surgery. I know I'm a good candidate, so everything is all good. I do have an um, appointment coming up for March. Um, to check all my levels again, but you definitely want to make sure you do that. And your quote is good for one year after you send that deposit. Um, and then again, I said it was recommended to visit with your doctor before you even come out. So once you leave your deposit, that's why I have my appointment coming up in March. Um, you want to make sure there's nothing wrong with you. God forbid you fly all the way to DR and then get turned down for something that could have been so easy to get checked and fixed while you were in the States, you know. Um, it says you must be at her office two days before your surgery. So the first day is for labs. The second day would be for evaluations. And then the third day, if everything is okay, you would have your surgery. Um, and then it says after surgery, you should remain in the country for 12 to 15 days. Um, uh, their clinic is closed Saturday and Sundays where Dr. G's, you know, he was open Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you try to like schedule around that, that they are closed Saturday and Sunday. Um she said all payments are to be made in cash so you know i was planning on paying some of my money before i came so i'm gonna have to be carrying all that money with me to pay her in cash um and then it says be at the office at 6 30 the day of surgery she actually sent me an email and mine said to be there at like 4 30 or 5 30 um so i'm gonna be there super early i'm hoping that i'm gonna be like number one of the day let's like fingers crossed but that would be really cool i'm gonna get there early um and then it says do not stand one month before and three months after surgery and come without acrylic and nail polish so that's pretty much what her email to me sent um and now i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys my recovery house so again i'm staying at healing and beauty i'm staying from the 19th to the 30th um so i'm staying for 12 days and i'm staying in a private room they have different options when you get there um you know you can message them on instagram i'll leave their instagram down below they do have like a top floor in their recovery house so if you want to bring you know a spouse with you your wife or your husband 
they could stay with you also um for extra of course but you know they have a top completely private floor with your own it's like if you were renting out an airbnb kind of but then with nurses there um you could rent the top floor there's like a kitchen like two rooms a whole living room everything like that but i'm just saying in a private room and then there's like a shared double room that you would be with like another girl which is a little bit cheaper but i chose the private room and it has its own bathroom and like a balcony and stuff like that so i thought that was perfect um i'm saying for 12 days um you know check with them they gave me a day free for staying for 12 days it's 130 a day so times the 11 came out to a thousand four hundred and thirty um minus a hundred dollar deposit that i left and she told me the remaining was a thousand three so included in that you get all your meals so you get breakfast snack lunch snack dinner fresh juices fresh smoothies and waters so at the recovery house they make um those beet drinks that really help with your hemo so before you go into surgery they're going to be giving you all those drinks after you get out of surgery they're going to give you all those pineapple juice that help with inflammation and stuff like that um they do give massages there for 40 per massage um and they have all the lamps and everything like that um so yeah guys i'm really excited but let me read to you guys what dr carla sent to me she's the owner um and you know they'll send you all this also but yeah look it was like a huge thing here and so transportation with them is included if you stay after like longer than 10 days so you get um picked up from the airport and drop off They'll drive you for your labs. Um, they'll drive you for your surgery day and pick up after your surgery. And then three medical post-op appointments you get. Um, anything after that is extra. So if you need to go to the Faja store, you want to get your nails done, you want to go to the beach, you want to do this, that's going to be extra. They do have it there, but that is an extra cost. Um, I already explained to you guys the food, the rooms. Um they have tv they have english channels they have netflix they have wi-fi um they have ac and fans in there which is really important because we all know dr is super hot um each room um has their own recliner so thank goodness just in case you can't get comfortable on the hospital beds i actually really like that they upgraded to the hospital beds um you know dr carla was like laughing with me saying she didn't think it was really necessary but I think it is awesome because, um, you know, just to get comfortable and stuff. So I like that they have the hospital beds. Um, they have wedges for tummy tuck position, a hot water generator, um, and all this stuff. It says the house is painted with antifungal, antibacterial painting. Um, there's bilingual nurses there at day and night. Um, but all, it says always remember um, that, you know, Spanish is their first language. So I know some people go out there and expect like, royalty treatment but you know um laundry service is free monday wednesday and friday but your faja garment can be washed anytime you need it to after before um 6 p.m and then the um, they also supply some supplies so if you guys watched my what i'm packing for dr video i already said all these things but it is really important to check with your recovery house what they offer you before you start buying all this stuff um for example they supply chucks pads which are like these big pads that you sit on so when they do your massages they all your fluids drain into these pads some recovery houses don't even supply that which i think is really crazy because like what are you paying for then you know this recovery house has all that all the gloves you know so much stuff that you would need and that makes it so much easier on you coming from out of the country you know it just makes it so much more simple so that's why i chose this recovery house like they are just so amazing and they have like the best reviews um she did even write like what to bring to dr um she wrote a little thing what to take for the day of surgery you can have outside visitors, which is another thing I'm really excited about because my hubby is coming with me. Um, he's staying with his family and then we're renting an Airbnb after I get out of um, Healing and Beauty. 
but um, you are allowed outside visitors from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It says visitors are only allowed in the living room or private room, um, and it needs to be announced to Dr. Carla before they arrive to approve the pass. So I thought that was awesome. So hopefully my hubby could come visit me, um, you know, one of the days. And then it says the post-op massages are $40 per massage. Um, it includes the ultrasound, cavitation, red light, vapor, um, if you need ma manual drainage. Because some people get a lot of fluid in their stomach after a tummy tug. They will take the syringe and take all of that out for you. Like they're very knowledgeable in what they're doing. So that's pretty much anything. Let me see if I am missing anything um you do need to send your flight information to her two weeks before you come out so she can make sure you're actually coming um so that's that oh and then the prices so there's double rooms like i told you guys um and these prices might actually change, so I don't think I'm going to say the prices for you guys. Um, and then also one other thing that I actually didn't even write down, it says um, there's a $50 COVID test. So when you get to that recovery house, you're going to have to pay a $50 COVID test. But then also for surgery, you need to pay a $100 COVID test, which kind of sucks, but it's just to keep everybody safe. So... When it comes down to everything, I went ahead and totaled everything over here for you guys. So at the top, I did the 9,255 for my surgery, 1,300 for the recovery house. I did a 480 for massages. I, I just did 12. There might be more. Um, $100 for an overnight nurse. You're going to definitely need to hire an overnight nurse for your day at the surgery or at, you know, when your surgery day. You're going to need someone there to stay with you after um, for that night, just in case you need a anyone. You know, it's not like here in the States where they're constantly checking in on you. Um, everyone says you need an overnight nurse, so just go with that. You know, like they're going to be able to do so much for you. You're literally I'm getting a tummy tuck and I know getting out of the bed like I'm not going to be able to do any of that by myself. So. Um, she's there for you that whole night um, until you, um, the recovery house would come pick you up from the clinic. Um, and then I did $200 in tips. And then my flight, I was able to get for $400. So, you know, yours might be more or less. I was able to get one for $400. And so all of that came out to $11,735, well, plus that 50 COVID test. So about $11,800, um, just under $12,000. Um, but I also put a little star right here next to oxygen chamber treatments. Um, they're $100 each, and I am going to budget for three of them. So what the oxygen chamber treatment is, is I'm going to do one the day before surgery, and then two um, right after surgery and it just really helps with like getting your skin like super prepped for surgery um, and like if you had any burns let's say you know you got a burn during surgery the oxygen chamber just really helps with all of that um, so I budgeted for three of those and then I'm also going to bring a thousand dollars extra um, just for, you know, if I want to get a Faja out there, if I want to get any food out there, extra tip money, if anything comes up. So I am going to definitely bring some extra money. So when I added that, um, everything came out to like about three thousand dollars. So that's pretty much everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. One thing I think you guys might ask, um, I know since I am a bigger girl, I'm 5'9", um, and I was 2'10", weigh 2'10", and I was able to get approved for her. I didn't do the calculation of what my BMI would be, so 5'9", 2'10", um, you know, she didn't write in the email to lose any weight, to gain any weight. I know, you know, some girls will get their quote and she'll write, you know, you need to lose some weight. But, you know, everything was good. 
So yeah, if you guys think of anything else that I missed, definitely comment down below. I have two months until my surgery. Any advice that you could give me, definitely comment down below. It will be really helpful. This is like my first major surgery, so I am really nervous. Also, if you are an April doll for this year, comment down below. Find me on Instagram because I have a what's up chat group going for all of us April girls. So we could all kind of be on the same page, hype each other up. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.